Hi guys, John here. And Jack. Welcome back to the island and another episode where we're going to continue with the project 286. In this episode, we are going to be removing the remains of the internal combustion system. We're going to be updating the 12 volt system to be compatible with uh, our electronics. Yes, and we will also be messing around with the uh, motor mount to be able to mount the new electric motor. So we just want to say thank you for being with us on this journey. If you're new to the channel, check out our other videos and please subscribe. We're nearly at 2000 subscribers and uh, we're very thankful for your support. So uh, see you guys there. All right, we're back here and uh, we're finally out here on the other island and uh, we've come all the way over the water and through the crushed ice and we're gonna be hanging out in the barn over there. Yeah, so there's this big barn and that's where this project, Project 286, yes. is gonna take place. On the way to the barn, do you wanna tell them why this project is even being done? Anyway, and what, what are the similarities to our project? The similarities, I guess, are that um, our client has exactly the same problem as us. Got to get over a 750 metre channel uh, with a whole heap of water, ice, all those really rough and tough conditions. And he already had an airboat and he wanted to convert that to electric. Yeah. More specifically, uh, his motor actually went uh, ratchet on him. It did. Um, yeah. <laughs> so It's got a funny clonk in it. <laughs> yeah, so nah, it, that, that motor actually gave up and that's when he decided, hey, I've seen you guys and you actually live quite close to me. Do you want to come and convert this airboat for me? Yeah, and uh, we had a fair bit in common there with sort of, you know, electric vehicles, electric bicycles, and uh, this ambition to um, change over to environmentally friendly um, methods of transport. So in that, we found a way forward in using our kits, and we're going to do that in the barn. Right, so here's the barn. This barn has an awesome workshop in it. And in the workshop we've got... The airboat in question. This um, little racer. Yeah, this is actually really cool. It's, it's kind of this mid-sized airboat, I guess. Yeah. Um, and it's built on kind of the same concept we had, where it was like aluminium boat, tough as nuts. We reckon that knock is. Well, something that's not supposed Someone to be out there, there. Can, who knows about these kinds yeah. of motors can tell us. <laughs> so what is this? Is it how? It's like some little Rotax motor, isn't it? Something like that, yeah. 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 It's getting replaced either way. Well, I mean, we're pretty much ready to get started and we're going to disassemble this yep. and uh, put on the side and uh, see where we're at with all the bits and pieces we've got and uh, start the refit. Yep, so, uh, well, let's get this thing disassembled and... Um, See where we end up. Let's go. Did I hand or? I don't think so, it should be right. It's probably better. Ooh, that's a heavy little thing. Not all put in that area. That's what was in it, and this is of course what's going in it. Alright, so we've been fighting these um, old motor mounts for a while now, these rubber ones, but almost all off. One last one, we've run out of battery. Yeah, I'm uh, messing around with the old electricals, trying to keep the lights and ditch everything else. Finally managed to get the old 12 volt system out of here. It's just a few cables left, left for the lights. It's gonna be cleaned up at a later date. We've decided to put the ESC box, it's gonna be mounted here. So it's gonna have plenty of cooling and actually kind of be hidden behind the seats a bit. Uh, and then the bus cables are gonna run to the batteries down under the seats. So yeah, that's where we're at with this. All right, so. Done for the day. Yeah, that's day one. We have decided where the batteries are gonna go. One battery here. One battery at the back. Yep. It's got to do with a bit of uh, weight. Yeah, weight distribution. Distribution. Motor mount. Is going to be modified. Yep. Yep. And we're going to put flat pieces of metal that go up and bolt to the top of the frame. Yep. Um, DSCs and controllers down here, behind the seat. Yep. With um, the cables coming up under the seat. 
and the displays. Over in that area over there. Yeah, at the driver. So they will be able to just switch them on. And then mm. 12 volt from the displays and into the... Original 12 volt. Yeah. Yeah, which will say the 12 volt comes straight out of the batteries. Um, yeah. So everything just goes straight off the one yeah. system. Um, where are we at? We've got, uh, had to get uh, all of the old motor mount off. So uh, that was a matter of cutting it because it was bolted on and we could not for our lives uh, get to these uh, bolts. Yep. So uh, cut that off now. And uh, now we're actually going to do a setup where we're starting to look at um, things like um, where the propeller ends up in the cage in comparison to where the rudders are. And we've got the uh, six-bladed prop made out of two three-bladed props. So it's actually uh, around about that deep. So there's a little bit of uh, maneuvering there to get um, the distance of, between the motor and the rudders uh, set up. When we've done that, um, I'm going to attempt to use parts of the old uh, motor mount uh, for our motor as well. But we've also seen that we are going to redesign part of our own mount there uh, now after the fact. And uh, that's one of the things we're going to be working on a bit later on, so we'll catch you then. Dad? Yeah, that was... You blew a fuse. I blew a fuse. Now, where is the fuse box? I don't know. Over in that corner. It's dark. <laughs> Up where you are. Yeah, all Have right. you got my arm? <laughs> <laughs> got dark real quick. Hey! Where are we at the moment? Yeah, you've decided that we're gonna bring the motor up a bit. Yep, because the old propeller was actually down here, so you had like about three or four centimeters washing up against the back of the boat. Um, so just for a little bit, like tiny efficiency, just raise it up again. So it's been a 30, 40 mil up. And got it centered at the moment and clamped on. And it spins without being too close, as far as I can see at the moment, um, to the cage and the frame. So I think yeah. we've got a winning concept and we've got uh, some more stuff to do after that. Um, well, while, while you were busy doing that, um, I made a bit of a just aluminium piece, which will attach the two interfaces right here, uh, which is actually where the original interfaces were, uh, or the original dials, should I say. So, um, That's yeah. looking really good. It's going to be good. Now, the easiest way for us to get 12 volts from our system was actually to nick it from the 12 volt socket in the interface. So I opened the interface, uh, snipped the cable to the socket, drilled the hole in the back of it, and put a cable pass through there. Then I simply ran the 12 volt cables from the boat through the back of the interface, soldered them together with the clipped off wires and neatened everything up with some of that uh, double walled heat shrink that we have been using. Thank you to one of our viewers who actually commented the name of that of our last video. I would have never known otherwise. But uh, yeah, turned out great. Right, moment of truth. That is on. And this switch is on. Yay! Yay, so we just... just fuse! Yep. All right, so good. we just um, checked everything. The um, Obviously the fuses, there's a fuse blown somewhere along the line. Uh, we went through that. And Jackie Didu, you have achieved a massive amount of success today with some Lights. headlights. And, and they're actually... Even those work. Yeah, oh, but this one, one does work, it's not... Uh, it's not connected. <laughs> yeah. No, here's the other All right. Here's the other one. So, so um, uh, signal lights and headlights work. Beautiful Finally, job. Where are you up to with the motor mount? Um, You've been I've had seriously a... hacking away at this. Yeah, so the difficulty was this. The motor mount that we first produced and turned up with um, needed some modifications and being out on, and on, on an island there just wasn't, um, we didn't have the tools we um, needed with us. So I've just been doing good old farmer engineering and 
I actually got out a hacksaw yep, and it, it just pieces. went for it. Yep, chopped it for pieces. So good old uh, muscles. Got it all um, shaped up now, and uh, we're going to cut, put a couple of pieces up here, bolt that together, and then we are actually looking at putting a final position on this, checking the propeller, the distances again, um, and then we should be right to join it all up and check it. Ooh. So, but I can see where we are this time of the day. Um, That's going to have to be tomorrow. Tomorrow, yeah. We've got a pretty big trip home and that kind of stuff yeah. as well, so. Oh, well, well let's uh, keep working a bit yeah. and then uh, check in when we are finished for the day. Brilliant.